what is popping gang listen man welcome back to the channel yes sir hey listen before we go any further into this video i need y'all to do three things for me just three small minor things first subscribe if you're new yo i'm on the road to 10k by the end of 2022 i feel like i can get it i, I think i can get it i'm almost confident to say that i know i can get it i just need y'all to subscribe man let's make this happen um second thing drop a like on the video because with this video there's not going to be anything to dislike unless you're just an absolute hater <laughs> like yeah unless you're a, unless you're a hater there's nothing to dislike about this video last thing drop a comment on what your favorite mod to the car was and if you didn't have a favorite mod to the car that's fine that's cool yo drop a comment saying what mods you would like to see in the future of the channel because i will be keeping this car for the foreseeable future slash dot 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 i don't know how long i'm gonna keep this car but yeah man without any further ado without wasting y'all time without wasting my time let's just roll right into the video let's go all right y'all well let's begin this video so let's start right here where i'm at right now paddle shifters came from amazon or ebay i'm not too sure anymore where they came from but i got them and they're beautiful so let me show y'all how the back looks. They literally fit snug over it. It's all 3M'd in. So there's nothing to really worry about in terms of them coming off or anything like that. Um, just a dope little subtle touch, man. I personally love them. And if somebody's sitting by me or walking past them, one those are down, they see these and it stands out. It's just a little subtle detail. And of course I went with red because, you know, the overall concept with the car is red well red white black red um next immediate thing that i ended up doing were these little knobs right here uh your power ac and well, i mean i don't never listen to the radio but that's what those knobs are i got these from i want to say ebay or amazon as well um 10 15 bucks give or take super cheap and it's just it's another example of a cheap but aesthetic or cheap but visually really good mod. Um, the red itself doesn't really match with the flow of the car, but I still love them. It still looks great. It still looks, it, it's, it's stunning. And for the price of these, you can't really beat it. So if you're on the market for super cheap mods, man, keep watching the video. There's gonna to be tons of stuff that I came across for cheap that was perfect so now that i'm already right here i may as well touch on my vinyl pieces right here and the entire car is wrapped in this red black white gray camo vinyl that i ended up getting from amazon for give or take 30 bucks and if i'm being honest here my work it wasn't perfect and that's fine I love it still and this kit was around 30 bucks it came with enough vinyl to do everything twice to three times if you messed up I ended up doing some of these pieces twice for example this one uh, this one right here and I want to say it was this one that I had to do twice and I still had tons of vinyl left over after it, that was even done but yeah that's from Amazon, dope touch. You don't have to go with this concept. You can go with any concept you want because the company on Amazon that sells it has multiple, multiple and tons of different options. And it's very simple to do, super simple. And just look at it, just, it's beautiful. <laughs> so the next immediate thing that's on the list and excuse the dirt, my son never, kicks off his shoes before he gets in the car but the next immediate thing that i did were these floor mats and these are from diamondcarmats.com these ran me about god i want to say 220 230 i could be wrong but if you go on the website right now they're actually offering i believe it's a 10 or 15 percent discount first time user um these as you can see are red with the black stitching because the overall concept of the car as I'm probably going to state a lot in this video is white with red and black. 
So I went with those and those are at the front and excuse the dirt, I drive my car. And they're also at the back. So the concept of the interior, man, for the most part, that's it. There's one more thing that I will highlight, but that's really it. Now, one of the last things that I did to the interior were the, um, the, the lighting, the interior footwell lighting. And I went ahead and went with, let me see what the brand is. I'll show y'all. I went with this brand. This is definitely an Amazon product. Um, so I went with that, got it on every footwell that's at the front and the back. And that ran me, I'm gonna round up and say uh, 70 bucks because I'm not too sure about it now. But super simple hookup. You can run this to the battery. You can run it to the front of the car at the connects. What I ended up doing was just running mine around in this. I tucked the wiring pretty well, except for right here. But I just run mine to the to the lighter port. So just something super simple for the interior, man. Something super simple. And actually for the interior, that's going to be it. Now, something that I don't really count as the interior, but I keep my back seat down to display my amp and I like to keep the cool air going on it so it doesn't overheat. But I went with Memphis Audio uh, 12s right there. And they, I think that's a 253, you know what, let me see. It's a 250 watt amp. Um, everything is bridged. It sounds amazing. It's not overpowering. It's not too much. And I think this ran me four, 400 ish a couple years ago, 2018, 2019. For interior, man, or I guess your car, period. Your audio is a major part of your car. Like, you can't run your stock audio unless you're rolling Harman Card on or Bose or. These actually came with the Beats audio, which are which is great. The Beats audio is great. The subwoofer for the Beats is still in the trunk. It's just not plugged in. But I personally think you need to get a sound system, a 10, two tens, something that suits you, something that's not aggressively loud, but it's also not just a subtle little bass. I like to ride with music, man. I think most of y'all do as well. So audio is a major 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 necessary mod for your car so but with that being said man i'm gonna go ahead to the front and show y'all where all the goodies really are so let's go all right so in terms of the engine i'm gonna start here went ahead and got the uh red miles oil catch can non-supercharged haven't changed the color yet because I kind of like the black, but get the gist of it. That was two something, I believe. And it came with everything needed except for zip ties just to keep it all grouped together. But uh, that was one. I guess I can count these as a mod, but fuse box cover, the uh, suspension covers, and the engine cover. Went ahead and hydro dipped those. I did it all myself. Didn't pay anybody to do it, but um, hydro dipped those. God, I want to say so. I got this from AtlanticHydro.com in terms of the vinyl, and I got the spray to activate it from Amazon. So give or take for everything, I'll round up and say fifty bucks. So that's strictly for appearance. Um, my MSD coil packs. I don't know if I can see them. So I got these from fasthemi.com. I want to say those were in the twos. And when I bought those, I went ahead and got the um, iridium spark plugs to go with it, which were super cheap from Amazon. Not Amazon, but uh, AutoZone. So 200 ish for those in the. Spark plugs were, man, I'll just round up and say 20 for all of them. And 
trying to think what else have I done up here? Oh, the uh, cold air intake, which is going away pretty soon. And it's dirty, but that's going away pretty soon. Um, what was the company? AF Dynamic. This was, man, I might be wrong, but give or take 200 for that. Uh, went ahead and grabbed a crankcase filter or a breather filter, I guess in common terms, but instead of this right here, this will go and connect to the intake. Instead of that, the bad fumes coming back through, everything just escapes through here. And the engine breathes a lot better because of that. Um, something else that I ended up doing, but you can't see it, is I threw a throttle body spacer on this. And that was from, God, I wanna say eBay. I might know it might've been fast in me. But threw that on, and I also threw in, uh, what was it called? The MMX throttle body, which is right back there. It's an 80 millimeter throttle body. That's for a moderate muscle extreme. That's a super big product. I highly recommend y'all get that. If you're going for a build route, strongly encourage that. Um, in terms of the engine, I feel like I'm forgetting something. So I'm gonna sit here for a second. So now moving on to the front fret. Uh, Went ahead and redid the headlights on it. And that's for both sides. So DRLs, halos from lighting trends. I can go any color I desire, <laughs> but I personally like the green. So, and purple. So one with those, those ran me, man, 300 ish maybe 400 ish but definitely had to get those man and funny story about these so i ended up let me see i think this is my fourth set the first ones that i bought went bad so they sent me a brand new one and then the the reef the one that they sent me back out for the free one went bad and i bought another one because the warranty was done after the first set and then those went bad and they sent me these for free and these are perfect no issues with these haven't had any issues whatsoever but those are from lighting trends you can go you can go flow series like i did um you can go just a solid rgb which is red white blue the standard colors and got different options you can go bluetooth you can go remote like i did the the star is really the ceiling man so go for what you want they're just not cheap but i do recommend people get them because uh last thing i want to say on the front was this little super cheap uh front lip from amazon and it's all 3m'd up and super cheap but if y'all remember i broke mine so i went ahead and just snipped it at the where these right here kind of meet i snipped it and just went with that and i think it actually looks really good like that too so this was man 20 30 bucks for that and it comes with a ton of it so just for pure looks, it's really no gains with it. It just looks nice. Something else that I just thought about was the Chrysler emblem, and I will be replacing this pretty soon because as you can see, it's starting to slowly chip out. But I plastic dipped that. I did the front and the back, but you know, rocks and everything else just hitting this is starting to slowly peel back to the original color and Man, plastic dip, I want to say it's five bucks a can. I use one can for this, so five bucks. Really, really cheap. That's about as cheap as it's going to get for a pair of stuff. 
something else that I also added. And clearly, I'm not gonna be able to see it, but I went ahead and did underglow on the front, back, and the sides. And that was from Op7. That was from Amazon, I believe. Even though you can buy through the company, I got mine through Amazon. And I'm gonna say 130 ish for that kit and it's all pretty simple self-explanatory to put on looks great at night it's actually bright enough to where if i ran it during the day you can see it too but that's that uh the wheels and this is going to be in a separate video but i'll just show y'all the new new and i'm gonna show y'all something else that i thought was super cool when uh me and Aaron was doing it. 275 40R20s. They fit on the fucking V6 Chrysler 300s. When the dealership said they wouldn't fit, they fit. But while I'm right here, I might as well touch on these little sleek little pieces. So the brake uh, calipers, not calipers, well, yeah, brake calipers. I painted these fire red, I wanna say was the color, and I didn't do a great job on it. So as you can see, it's starting to chip and it's really bad on the front, but I'm gonna redo these. Uh, the kit was from Amazon and I wanna say 40 bucks. It came with enough for all calipers on all sides. And it's not really bad. It looks really good from angles actually, but subtle details the uh the rotors well the brake pads and the rotors i went through r1 concepts for these so mine are starting to look really bad with all the rust and everything else but they're actually really really good um these i want to say i paid a little over 300 for front and back and mine are drilled only hence the holes everywhere <laughs> but 300 uh breaking is way quicker way quicker um i can't really complain about the rotors man but i'll show y'all something major issue that i'm having with these and it's not really a knock against the company it's more so based on where i live but the resting on this portion of the fucking rotors is terrible, terrible. Now, what I could do, what I might end up doing, I don't know yet, is I could always take the wheels off and redo this, paint it black or paint it red, whatever the case, but end result is I'm gonna replace them and just go drilled and slotted on all four. So, especially considering the fact that I'm about to supercharge it and I'm gonna have to be able to stop a lot quicker, so that's what's also in the future plans of the car and how i was saying they peeling really bad this is the front the front is like terrible but those will get repainted pretty soon another mod that i ended up doing to the car and i really actually love these but the side markers you know chrysler and every car company comes with these big pieces just one bulb in the middle Swap those out, went with LEDs all around. Those are from eBay. I wanna say that kit was give or take 40 bucks and smoked them out as well. So, looks great. No complaints about those, super cheap. Now, at the back of the car, this is where things got a little interesting and tricky and it kind of expensive so i've made a video about this my tail lights i tinted myself uh vivid vinyl uh what was this dark black or smoke black for this and i've i did this in 2018 i believe still holding like beautiful pitch black but when the lights come on it just it looks really good together so that's those uh, I want to say that was 30 bucks for the vinyl and it's super sticky. It comes with enough to where you can mess it up and redo it. So next up my spoiler and the wicker bill. So if y'all remember, 
I had another spoiler on here and another wicker bill. So that's the new look. And what ended up happening with the last one was, if y'all remember, I cracked my actual spoiler from the subs. And this was done super poorly by the person that installed it. So there's that. Um, I said a long time ago that I would swap this out, get a brand new one. So I did, same exact one, but the wicker bill, I went a different route, different look. And I went ahead and actually did the work myself. And that's the new look. And let me just show you all this. Everything is actually riveted in how it's supposed to be. So, God, I wanna say that kit was, the spoiler was like 70 and the wicker bill was give or take 130 from eBay. Super, super mandatory mod for any FCA product, Chrysler, Challenger, uh, you name it. It just looks outstanding. <laughs> so, yeah. So the exhaust, I'll just cover that last because I've done tons of videos on that. Another super sleek, um, I can't really say mod, but something that I did was I went ahead and copped the, uh, the door sill protectors. And of course, you know, 300S because it's a 300S. But I went ahead and grabbed these right here. Uh, these are black. The white that you're seeing is just the clear portion and it's the paint. But I got those on the front and the back. And these were, I might be totally wrong about this, but those were, I wanna say 30. And it's all the way around. I got those from Amazon also. So I guess the very last thing, cause I don't remember. Oh, and I forgot something. It's back in my garage, but I recently purchased one of these and it's the SRT style. So it's the five inch holes in the back for both sides. I went ahead and bought a new one. Just haven't put it on yet, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. Got the diffuser already added to it. So this back here will all be changing. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, but the price of that little diffuser piece or the rear valence, I want to say it was 140 And it's the same color as this one. You know, matte black, nothing glossy because it doesn't match the rest of the car. But I got that. Just haven't done it yet. So that that's coming soon. I'll probably give you all the video for that, which also means I'm going to be adding another mod, which will be the uh, exhaust tips because I'm going to go five inch carbon exhaust tips on both ends of it. So, man, I think that's really it. But the last thing I guess, cause everybody seems to love it or hate it, is the exhaust and uh, my exhaust setup. It, it's, it's really simple, y'all. So, I did a rear muffler delete. So that's the mufflers that sit right here. Cut those out, put three inch straight piping on back. Um, then later on, I went ahead and added Cherry Bomb Extremes, which said, I want to say about right here. So took off the stock resonators, put the Cherry Bomb Extremes on and ran those back with the three inch straight piping, which is the sound that I get from my car. Um, love the exhaust, gorgeous exhaust. I think it'll change once I go to supercharger route. And uh, I don't know, we'll see, but yeah so in terms of mods to my car i feel like i left something out i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i feel like i left something out i just don't know what <laughs> um that's everything that i've done to my car and obviously obviously i didn't mention the supercharger because the supercharger is not installed yet it's not on my car but if I really want to be technical here, because, you know, I actually own this supercharger already. It's paid for. It's mine outright. Realistically, the supercharger is the biggest mod that I've done to my car. And I can't wait for that to get here. I can't wait to get it installed. My wife, on the other hand, is still pissed about it because it's, it's expensive and I get it. But 
sometimes you got to do what you got to do man that's making that's bringing more viewers to the channel um giving the channel more longevity more uniqueness um I mean, obviously, bigger picture, more money from YouTube, because why not? I'm just being real with y'all. Um, yeah, so I can't I can't wait for that to get here, man. I'm like super excited. I, sometimes I still can't believe I actually did it. But, you know, um, that's coming soon. That is coming soon. And y'all will get the full process on installation and tuning and everything all the walks around everything with it y'all will get all of that so stay tuned for that man that will be here i actually don't know yet i gotta check with rip super i gotta check with rip Moss to see but that'll be here soon and that's like the puzzle piece that kind of gets everything else going in terms of my channel so stay tuned for that man stay tuned for that and with that being said y'all listen that was everything i've done to my car i think think um yeah if i've done something that y'all are interested in for your car or realistically any car yo i'm i hope i i, I hope so but all the links for everything i've done is going to be below so y'all are more than welcome to go out and get anything y'all want change it up make it yours make it original um i always say don't copy somebody you know don't be a one of one i mean uh don't be a sheep be a one of one so feel free to go grab something man i make nothing from none of these links just so we're clear it's just inspiration and creativity man and uh with that being said listen y'all i'm out the next video y'all are going to see however is um this new setup in terms of my wheels and uh tires which was also a mod because i bought new wheels and tires and if you know me, then you know, but otherwise YouTube don't know. So now y'all know I'm the first to do what I did with my car. And the next video is going to discuss that. So I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Stay safe. Stay out the way till next time. I'm out.